Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and click that subscribe button right now so you can be officially part of the fam here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I style my perm. I know this video was like super highly requested um, and I know it took me a really long time to finally get this video up for you guys. I was basically waiting for these lights to come in because I thought that I would be able to like, you know, move them to my bathroom and film like the whole video in my bathroom like give you that like fresh out of the shower vibe just like filming everything in my bathroom i can't move these lights so this video just didn't go anywhere as planned but i still hope you guys enjoy the video i do want to say real quick this video is like not anything special like i don't do anything crazy to my hair it's just basically like all products getting worked through my hair so if you guys want to see what products i use um to style my perm and keep my curl go ahead and just keep on watching okay guys so i just woke up as you can tell and this is normally how my hair looks on the third day of not being washed i do not wash my hair every day but i do take a shower every day okay and i will show you guys the products that i use on the days that i don't wash my hair um later on in this video so the first thing that i like to do is i like to brush my hair right before i get in the shower just because i can't brush it every day it turns into like the biggest poofiest mess as you guys can see so i don't brush my hair every day um i just brush it right before i get in the shower so when i get out of the shower i'm left with like nice untangled hair so now for shampoo I've really only been using like sample size shampoos and conditioners um, from Ulta because I have a shit ton of them so this is the shampoo that I use today but again it's not sulfate free I normally use the L'Oreal sulfate free shampoo I use the one that promotes curl and promotes thickness in the hair I don't really like the shampoo but if you have a sulfate free shampoo that you like please let me know what you're using because I would love to know after I get out of the shower, I wrap my hair in a t-shirt. You want to use a t-shirt instead of a towel because the fibers on the t-shirt are way less harmful for your hair and will just cause the hair to be less frizzy. And you want to leave the t-shirt in your hair soaking up all that water for as long as possible. So during this time, I will do my skincare routine, brush my teeth, you know, just leave that t-shirt in for as long as possible. So after you leave the t-shirt like soaking up all that water for a little bit, um, that brings you guys to me. So I just moved because the lighting in my bathroom just really isn't that great and I finally got new lights. <laughs> I'm so excited. So now we're just going to go ahead and take the towel off. And you'll have something like this. Right off the bat you can tell um, how much of a difference the t-shirt makes from the towel. Um, you won't see like as much frizzies, at least I don't see as much frizzies on the edges of my hair. So now what I like to do is I just separate my hair into two sections and you want to make sure that you do this really carefully. I don't ever brush my hair when it's wet. Ever, ever, ever. Besides the time that I permed my hair because you have to brush out your hair before you perm it. But um, I don't ever brush out my hair when it's wet just because it's not good for your hair at all. So even when you are pulling your hair apart, like trying to get your two sections, just make sure that you're doing it really really gentle so now that you have your hair sectioned off I like to separate these into two pieces bring them up to the front like this so now the first product that I typically go in with is the Garnier Fructis um, curl nourish buttercream leave-in treatment so I like to get this I like to put like just a little bit of my, um, a little bit of this and then while that's in my hands I go in with the Garnier Fructis sleek and shine Moroccan sleek oil treatment and I do maybe like a dime size of that as well. And then I go in with the Suave Professionals Keratin Infusion Smoothing Serum. And I just do one pump of that baby. I'll go ahead and mix it together in my hand first. And then just start combing it through my hair like this. And after I run it through my hair like with my fingers, I just kind of like scrunch it up with my hand just to make sure that all that product gets in there. And I do the exact same thing to this side. So using all the same products, just comb it through my hair a little bit and then scrunch it. Scrunch, that's a funny word, scrunch. And then I just grab both pieces together in the back and kind of just work those together. Just like scrunching it up, you know? And then after that, I will go in with the Garnier Fructis. I don't know why I have so many Garnier products. I don't know. 
I will go in with the Garnier Fructis Hydra Recharge Moisture Whip Leave-In Conditioner. I'm like a sucker for like leave-in treatments. I don't know why. I just do two pumps of that, work it into my hands, and then we're just going to scrunch up my hair in the back and put that in. Work that into the hair. And those are literally the four products that I use and I do the exact same thing like I divide my top section into two halves and do the exact same thing the exact same order on the top half of my hair and the reason why I do it in two different sections is just because my hair is super super long and I want to make sure that every strand of hair is getting um, the product in it and you can go in with each of these products like one at a time, but I just find it easier to mix like the um, cream and the oil and the serum all together because it's going to get mixed up anyway. So. And I never apply the product like in the root, like straight directly on my roots. It's kind of just like the body of the hair, you know what I mean? So after all those products are worked into the hair, the last product that I go in with is the L'Oreal Paris Curve It Curl Elastic Mousse. And I just like to shake this baby up first. And then I'll go ahead and flip my head all the way over. Do a pretty generous amount of mousse in my hand. Work it into my hand first and then scrunch it through my hair. I will try to focus on the front half of my hair first and then I'll go ahead and do a second little generous pump for the back side of my hair. And after I work all that product through my hair, whatever's left on like my hands, I will kind of just like roughly just like brush it through my roots, like just finger comb my roots with the, the rest of the product that's on my hands and that will just help to give you a little bit more volume at the roots. And then after that, I flip my hair back over and I will always put it to the side where I don't normally like wear it on. So normally my hair is flipped to this side, so I have it flipped to this side now. I will leave it on this side for as long as possible. Um, this is just really going to help to define the roots here at the front because I like it to kind of be like, you know, big at the roots. I'll normally like go and do my makeup. Or I'll just go like eat some breakfast or something and I'll just leave my hair on this side until like I'm ready to leave the house and then I'll just go ahead and flip it to the other side and that will give me the volume that I'm looking for. Um, I personally love all these products mixed together and they're not expensive like you can find any of these pro um, products at Target, Walmart, anywhere. I did want to mention a few products that I also use like here and there. Um, these are the two products that I use like um, on the days that I don't wash my hair. So this is the Garnier Fructis Full and Plush Mega Full Thickening Lotion and then also the Garnier Fructis um, Curl Renew Reactivating Milk Spray. These two together are just absolutely amazing. On the days that I don't wash my hair, this is what I use. Um, normally, I don't know if you guys like have curly hair, if you guys have a perm, you guys would know that like on the second day, like your hair is already looking like kind of meh, frizzy, the curls are kind of going away, um, stuff like that. So with these two, what I basically do is I just spritz them through my hair. Sometimes I will just like pump some straight directly on my hand, work it in, and then do the exact same thing, just like scrunch it through my hair. And then I also, after I go in with those two, I will use the one and only Argan Oil 12-in-1 Daily Treatment. This is what I use on the days that I don't wash my hair as well. Just because I like my hair to get as much moisture as it can whenever. So sometimes I'll do like coconut hair masks and I'll leave that shit in for like two hours before I take a shower. Um, I like to do a lot of treatments on my hair. Like I said, leave-in treatments are like my favorite because they're just leave-in and I feel like your hair just keeps on getting like good stuff while it's like left in your hair. I don't know, that might just be my weird brain, but um, and basically it's just like an oil. I could spritz some on my hair right now. I love this stuff and it smells so good. So those are all the products that I use on my hair. Of course, there's like dry shampoos and like hair masks and everything else that I could go into, but I just really wanted to focus this video on like how I style my permed hair. I'm gonna come back and show you guys what my hair looks when it's flipped all the way over and like volumized and looking good. Okay guys, so I just finished doing my makeup. I just gotta curl my lashes, but I just wanted to come back on here to show you how much of a difference the hair flip makes, okay? So, 
Like, do you just, like, see that difference? Like, I have so much more curl up here. I have, like, a lot of volume right here at the roots. Just looks so good. By this time, my curls are starting to just, like, really just settle into place. So you don't really want to mess with them too much. Don't, like, run your fingers to them. Don't, like, be pulling on your hair and stuff. Just, like, let them sit, you know? Let them sit. So that is it for how I style my perm. Again, if you guys have had a perm, you guys know that you're supposed to perm your hair like every six to eight weeks. I do not do that. It's already been about like two going on three months since I've permed my hair. I perm my hair maybe once a year. I've only had three perms and I've had a perm for three years. So I perm my hair once a year and these are the products that I've been using for like ever. Super affordable, easy to find, easy to use. So I know this video was really highly requested and I kind of feel like it just wasn't like a lot like it's not anything special like I don't have like a special secret to my hair just basically just putting products and scrunching that bitch up I know it may seem like a lot but honestly I could just get that shit done in like five minutes it doesn't even take me that long um, to do it when I get out of the shower so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I really hope you guys found some tips that you may try or some new products that you want to try so again that's all I have for you guys if you're new here don't forget to click that subscribe button before you leave so you don't miss any of my new videos let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video bye